Pepper's Reborn Boutique. And look who I have here. I have this little cutie right here, Kit. She is the Kit Kit <laughs> from Silicone Studios 2. And after I painted her and created her and rooted her, I didn't actually uh, take the time to give her her final bath. So she had one bath to, you know, get rid of the matting powder, but she still has some little stray hairs on her. So I decided to <clears throat> get her dressed up and give her her final bath with you guys. So first, we're just gonna fill up the um, <clears throat> sink with a little bit of warm water. I'm using this Johnson & Johnson head to toe <clears throat> baby wash and shampoo sorry I'm getting a horse in my throat and um, I like Johnson & Johnson because it's very mild changing room which is my dining room table guys I worked hard to get my office all nice and clean so that I can film in the, in the office but I'm gonna be honest with you the lighting there I just have to do something to really work out the uh, my lighting situation so she is nice and clean um, this is a one of those lint-free uh, cloths. So I'm gonna use that to make sure that she is completely dry before we dress her. Cause I have the, the cutest little outfit for her. Now, if you remember, again, Kit is from the, um, get her mouth all nice and dry is from Silicone Studio 2 and she is, well, you know what? I can't remember. There are uh, more than one artist that sculpts for Silicone Studio 2. So we want to uh, give the right person the credit. So let me just double check and I'll look it up who the sculptor is. But Kit is currently on sale in my shop. You can find her on Reborns.com, Reborns with an S, dot com. And let's get her turned. All right, little lady, let's get you turned. Make sure your backside is all nice and dry. So unlike a real baby, a Reborn doll does not need to have lotion. Uh, but it doesn't hurt to put powder on the baby, especially if you see shiny, shiny spots. The type of powder that I use is a talc-free powder. And you don't want to use uh, anything that has talc on it, in other words. And so it doesn't hurt to um, just brush it if you see any shiny spots, you'll find shine 
when you like frequently dress your doll. If your doll feels sticky, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to give it a bath. It just probably means that it needs a little powdering because keep in mind that silicone is just based on that, that texture. Silicone does tend to become powdery. I mean, <laughs> sticky. Um, and the more you handle silicone, the more that it will likely become sticky. And I don't handle kit at all. <laughs> you know, I have not really taken her out much since um, the last time I did a photo shoot with her. So that's why I'm very excited about uh, getting her dressed for you guys. And we got a little bit of baby powder right here on her cheek. All right, let's get her diaper on first. This is a preemie diaper, but she actually came wearing a newborn diaper. And the newborn diaper was actually a perfect fit. But she is, in my opinion, smaller than a newborn size. So I think she will fit into this diaper very well. And it looks like she honestly does. All right, little lady, let's get you in that. Uh, I don't know when you guys are watching this, but today, let me find out. Alexa, what's the date? It's Wednesday, June 21st. Okay, so it's Wednesday, June 21st of 2023. And my sister, uh, Sunflower Baby Angel Dolls, Sunflower Baby Angel Dolls is coming into town. And uh, we're gonna do a, a live, but I don't have the ability to go live yet, not on Facebook, um, and because I don't have a thousand, uh, you know, viewers yet, or subscribers yet. But she has a thousand subscribers on TikTok. So this weekend, I can't tell you what time, I can't tell you what exact date, but uh, if you are subscribed to Sunflower Baby Angels, be sure to check out her TikTok and subscribe to it if you would like to see us both go live. She's gonna be bringing some of her silicone dolls, um, just as I will be showing off some of mine, uh, some that you might have not have seen for a while. Okay, so I'm just anxious. I know I should get her dressed first, but we, I'm anxious to um, do her hair. And I love her hair. It's so perfect. And basically, um, she has a curly braid of hair. And all you have to do really is just wet it and just kind of lay it down with some water. And then you can do like this little curl like this. And I'm just gonna, we gonna get you, we gonna lay your baby hairs. I'm gonna do that. And then let's get you the back. And I just like to do this. And I think this looks so adorable. I love the grade of her hair. I love um, curly mohair. I like wavy mohair, but for little babies, especially little ethnic babies, I love the curly hair. I think because my children had curly hair. Now keep in mind that uh, because silicone is not sealed, it is possible that every time you brush her hair, you will lose some hair. So keep in mind that this is not the time for you to, to play, teach yourself, <laughs> you know, how to comb baby's hair, comb it and then let it go. Just leave it alone. You know, use your hands, use a toothbrush, use a very soft brush. This is a very soft bristled brush. 
and this is how much we've lost. So that's why we want to make sure that we preserve little baby girl's hair um, and we don't do too much to it. Now keep in mind guys, if you are interested in owning a uh, full body silicone, I have some vinyl dolls as well, but you would like to own your own little baby, then I do have them available on my shop at reborns.com. This little one has not been spoken for yet. So we'll see who gets to own this little baby girl. Look at this little outfit that came with um, Kit. She came with these little pants and this little shirt. So I feel like the way I'm gonna dress her today, this is the way she gonna come to you, whoever adopts her, because I don't feel like I'm really wanting to change her clothes again. She's been freshly bathed. Her hair is done and she smells like the little baby with the little powder. Okay, now watch what I'm gonna do. This is a long sleeve, a long sleeve shirt. I'm taking my fingers in there. I'm being very protective and I'm grabbing her whole hand. I'm not grabbing her finger. I'm not grabbing, you know, and pulling. I'm just guiding it into the sleeve. Once it's in there, we can start bringing it up. So that is how I do it. Also, I don't want to mess with her hair too much. So we are actually going to pull her clothing on bottom up. Now, if you had a bald baby, then yeah, it doesn't matter if you pull it over her face, probably pull her clothes on over her face. But again, here we are. We're just guiding the hand through. We're not pulling and tugging because I did have a mommy contact me and say that her little silicone baby, his wrist had a split in it. Um, and I had to tell her how to fix it. So we want to prevent that from happening to our little girl or to your little girl. Here's her cute little undies. I've never seen these. These are so adorable. I have never seen these until I received this package. This shipment, this little one. Oh, let's get this over that little teeny diaper. Y'all, isn't this adorable? I almost don't want to cover up her belly because it's so cute. Get preemie diapers. I got them off of Amazon. They're Huggies, Huggies brand. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty positive that this is a premium outfit. And I would not have known how to purchase it. It's from Simple Joys, premature, zero months. All right, let's get her. I do have um, a boppy, however, um, the body is so big, so I just want to use that. Guys, he got to see this outfit. Cutest outfit ever. Look at this. She is going to be so cute in this. I just hope, it says zero to six months though. So we're going to make it work. We're going to make it do what it do. But well, first, let's get her little socks on her. These are white socks and that is an ivory colored um, outfit. So I may have to order her some little ivory colored socks like these because these are perfect. 
she wore these when I changed her once before, before her final bath. And they were so adorable on her. All right, let's get, let's get this little outfit on her. So we got this little flower headband. You know this is gonna be huge. And we have this, <laughs> this little pom-pom, pom-pom cheerleader dress, cheerleader skirt. All right. And of course, this is from Ross. Um, so it didn't cost like an arm and a leg. I love shopping at Ross's and Rainbows. It's called Little Me. Little Me. Okay. All right, little kit. Let's get this little outfit on you. with her little panties showing <laughs> y'all all right let's put this head this huge headband on what i'll do because i i know i'm gonna send this outfit home with her i will put a stitch in it so that it will stay on her head let's put it on the side i think oh, oh you know what it doesn't fit all so bad we will there we go. Oh, she's so adorable, guys. What do you think? Let's get her, get her little bangs showing a little bit. Oh, uh, what do y'all think? I think she's so freaking adorable. I think, I, yeah, I forgot, guys. Y'all want to see me pierce her ears? Let's pierce Kit's ears. We will get her, cause she's asleep right now. So this is the perfect time to do an ear piercing while she is nice and asleep. Let's get her ready, put her in her little chair. I carried uh, one of my dolls, one of my babies into the post office to show the uh, post office carrier. And <laughs> one of the customers said, that's the littlest car seat I've ever seen in my life. And I said, yeah, it's made for a doll, though. <laughs> I love when people just, they don't really realize it. And it's not like I'm making fun of them or anything like that. That's what our goal is. You know, our goal is to do that. Let's get, look at her. Is she not perfect? All right, so. Uh, piercing a silicone doll's ears is quite easy because the silicone is super, super soft. And as long as you have the um, a good ear. <laughs> so this baby has an ear where I like, you can point it down or you can point it up. I like to point the um, the earring up so that it goes into the head. And I'm not looking to put a um, the back on there. Now, if they had a long earlobe, you could put the back on there. Ugh, it's hard to do it while she's in this chair, but we are gonna make it do what it do. Okay, we got it through the silicone. And you know, you can always take them out if you don't like uh, having a baby with pierced ears. But um, I think they're so cute. 
All right, so we have to make sure that we have them in the same spot. All right, let's get little baby girl situated in the right spot. Okay. And she did not feel a thing. So right here. And again, I like to aim it going up. There's not anything to get caught. And voila. I think she deserves a bottle after that. Whenever I give my baby a nipple or a bottle, I always use a, a lubricating gel. And this is water soluble. So you always use a water soluble and um, this is a personal one. So this is like medical grade. And then I use a bottle. And right now my favorite bottle is this Tommy Tippy bottle. I love this bottle. And every time you finish, you'll want to wipe her clean. So wipe out the inside of her mouth. Um, make sure that you get all of the residue off the baby's mouth. And let's get you, I've ordered some baby bottles for these little babies. I mean, baby bibs, little ones, because I got big ones, but I want some little ones. Okay, so silicone care. Wipe the excess out of the mouth when you're done. That's why you, that's why I have this. I bring the baby's mouth down a little bit and get a nipple that fits. She's a preemie baby, but she can take a full size nipple. And Kit, look at her, she was starving. Poor baby, not literally starving, but she could eat a little bit. She could eat. In this bottle, guys never use real baby formula. First of all, there's no need to. Second of all, it's so easy to make fake formula. I just use downy fabric softener and I seal the nipple with silicone. Uh, you can seal the nipple too. Um, if, if you're gonna be collecting silicone dolls, some of the things that you may wanna have is a silicone repair kit. And that is just clear silicone in which if you have a little crack, you can fix it. And you can use that to also seal the nipple. Or you don't even have to use fake formula. I mean, this is part of the role play that you might want to use if that's something that you care about. I love that type of role play. And I love giving her a pacifier. And I love cradling and burping. So that's the role play that me, myself, I like. Um, I've mentioned this before when I was showing off uh, my own personal doll that I made for myself. So I actually, for the first time, created a full body silicone doll. And I made him just the way I wanted him. And his name is Collagelo. So he is a Claire Taylor Kent Asleep. He is one of the last Kent Asleep within that edition uh, that Claire Taylor had created. She may have some other Kent Asleep editions that will come out in the future, she indicated. But however, at this time, that was the last one. So when I created my little Kent, which I call him Collagelo. I made him just the way that I wanted him. And my role play is to cuddle with him. I love just when I had like a stressful day or something and just, well, just seeing him laying in his cradle. I just want to pick him up and 
just kind of hold him for a little while. I don't have to change his clothes or comb his hair or just kind of cradling him and filling him in my arms. That is like the best feeling. So uh, that's one of the, the best things about having reborn dolls, whether they're silicone or vinyl or partial. Um, I actually love my partial silicone dolls because their hands, their arms and their legs move. Okay, little Kit has had her full, her fill. And so what we would do later is we would come along and we would just take a look in her mouth and just gently, you're gonna use a Q-tip if you like, but we're gonna remove any excess silicone from her mouth. We just don't want it to dry on there. Uh, and now, can't forget, we got to burp the baby. So let's get, I like to use a cloth whenever I'm holding a baby against my body. A, because sometimes I'm wearing makeup. And B, I wash my hands too, because I like wearing lotion. And I just don't want any oils to transfer onto this little baby girl. We don't need to try to get better in frame. We don't need to have any oils on her, uh, which would then possibly break down the silicone. So our whole goal is to role play comfortably where we can keep our baby looking like a little baby for as long as possible and let's give her a nice little burp because she's had an eventful day getting all prepped for her mom, her new family, whoever that might be. And guys, I just wanna tell you, Kit is a sold out addition at this point. So if you go to Silicone Studios too, where I purchased her, she is no longer available. And there is no telling when Kit will come back. And she is the only Kit that I've seen that was painted ethnically. Not that I've seen every Kit ever painted, but I have looked at a lot of Kits. So um, if you are at all interested in having this beautiful doll, uh, the only other way that you're gonna get her until they bring her back is as a partial. You're not gonna find a, a full body, uh, you know, or if you do, you will have a hard time finding her. Okay, did you get a little belch in? Oh, you know what, let's take it out for a minute because she is needing that to be adjusted. And we're not gonna make her, we're not gonna force her to wear that. All right, there she is, guys. That's the little girl. That's the little girl. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I hope you enjoy um, Kit. If you're interested, she is for sale at Reborns.com on my shop, uh, Pepper's Reborn Boutique. See you later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.